Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on cropping on CS5. Uh, this tutorial is just so that I can show uh, those who are still struggling with uh, cropping their pictures in Photoshop uh, a quick and quick and easy way to um, <coughs> to crop your photos. So let's bring up Photoshop. Okay, I already loaded an image uh, that I took recently while out of LAX and as you can see here the picture shows a Korean Air 777 while a EVA 777 is landing and I find that the image can be cropped a little tighter uh, around the EVA and the Korean Air. Again this is just for illustration purposes you can obviously crop any way you want to. I find that uh, using the crop tool is probably the easiest way to crop an image so what we do is we select the image. First of all, uh, a couple of quick tricks uh, to bring your image to full screen. You can hit Control one that'll give you a full-size uh, version of the image, meaning it's a one-to-one, -one, uh, the original pixel size of the image. As you can see, it fills the screen, but it makes it very hard to, uh, to edit or to show you the whole image while you're cropping. Um, obviously, you can use the zoom tool. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you can use the zoom tool to zoom in and out in the image. Obviously, clicking the with the plus sign that will zoom in uh, to the image, and holding down the Alt key while you click will zoom out uh, in steps. Uh, but the quick tricks are Control One that will give you a one-to-one -one representation. Control Zero will actually fill the screen uh, to whatever dimensions you have. I find that much easier to work with. So it's a quick way to go to full and then back to filling the screen with the image. So anyway, uh, let's start the cropping and the first thing you want to do is select the crop tool which is uh, this one right here that's highlighted. Once the tool is selected what I do is I click somewhere outside the image uh, as, as I'm clicking here outside on the upper left uh, gray background click and hold down and drag across the entire image all the way till you get to the other corner you don't have to stop anywhere you just let go once you have the entire screen selected you notice that the marquee tool will stop and select the entire image and let go once that is done you now have the uh, cropping tool set to the entire image now what most people do is they start grabbing the handles randomly and start moving around uh, the the crop markers and you can definitely do that and you're free to do that but as you can see the aspect ratio is going to start to get out of whack and what you want to do is you want to maintain the aspect ratio of the original image that being said let me hit escape escape basically undoes whatever you've done and resets the tool I'm going to select again from beginning to end and let go once I'm done doing that what I do now is two things you need to keep in mind the shift key will maintain the aspect ratio uh, and the alt key will make all the movements that you do uh, centered meaning uh, the selection that whatever movements you make to the control corners um, will be reflected uh, from the center of the image out so everything will be <coughs> controlled from the center of the image and I will show you how that looks holding the shift key by itself maintains the aspect ratio but does not it, it will basically constrain the movements uh, away from wherever control point you choose to move okay so in this case I'm going to just hold down I'm going to show you what it looks like without holding the shift key so if I just grab this corner here I can move around freely anywhere as you can see but let me show you what happens as soon as I hit the shift key <clears throat> so I'm going to just crop it like really thin here as soon as I hit the shift key notice what happens the, the aspect ratio kind of changes to maintain the aspect ratio of the image and no matter which way I move it is locked into the aspect ratio of the original image okay <clears throat> if I then uh, just want to let go for a second and show you what can happen if I don't choose one of the corners to do that and again if I choose this corner here hold down the shift key and move same thing happens okay the same thing happens if I grab these corners here I'm still holding down the shift key by the way if I grab one of the side ones here 
uh, the aspect ratio is lost. Okay, so you must use the corners of the image. Okay, now that the aspect ratio is lost, okay, I want to <coughs> go back to uh, my original image so I can maintain the aspect ratio. So I'm going to hit escape again. Okay, I'm going to select the whole image again. So it just serves as practice. Okay, you can play around with this on your own so you can see what's going on. I'm going to hold down the shift key and again I'm going to move the corners only. Okay, that maintains the aspect ratio. You just keep holding the shift key and keep moving the corners around until you get the desired crop. Okay, if I instead want to make the adjustments, in this case I, I would like to crop uh, more, uh, let's say I want to crop from the center because the, the, let's say the aircraft is centered in the image, what I can do is I can bring this back out to, to the maximum right? and I can then while I'm holding that key I can hold down the old key at the same time and you see what happens now when I move the corners the constraint is centered on the image so the whole crop window moves around from the center in or the center out. This is very handy when you want to quickly get to a particular point okay so let's say for this point I want to crop tight on the back of the uh, tail of the Korean Air okay and at the same time I'm gonna let go of both keys okay and you notice what happened when I let go of the keys okay uh, it loses whatever crop I had up to that point so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cropping again from the center okay and I'm gonna let go okay once I let go of everything it's gonna stay there now I can click inside the selection here and drag my crop okay I can drag it wherever I want and you notice it maintains the aspect ratio okay so I'm gonna leave it where I think I want it tight on the back of the tail okay and top to bottom I like the balance between the EVA and the Korean but I want a little tighter on the Korean air so now I'm gonna grab this corner it's gonna bring it down closer a little bit I'm gonna hold down the shift key always maintain the aspect ratio by holding down the shift key I'm gonna come down just a little bit from this corner here and once I get a little tighter on the EVA okay I then want to move the whole thing up a little bit to give it a little more balance between the top and the bottom of the image and I like it like this and we're done once we are happy with the crop and again you can adjust it never use never use the side controls always use the corners always hold down the shift key when you move those corners to maintain the aspect ratio once you're happy with it you can click the uh, check mark button in the uh, toolbar in order to set and commit that crop or you can double click in anywhere in the center of the crop to uh, set the crop again I'm just gonna go and click that one thing you should keep in mind <coughs> is the shield um, uh, checkbox over here what this does is instead of actually deleting the data around here it will just hide it so you can go back and readjust the crop at a later time so it won't delete the rest of the image it won't, it won't actually discard the data that's pretty handy if you want to go back again okay so right now I'm just gonna click if you're not happy by the way you can either hit escape or hit this cancel button here to undo the operation so I'm gonna commit it and you see what happens as soon as I commit it the image will uh, display and reflect the crop. It's going to take a little while because my computer is doing a lot of things at the same time. So now the crop is set and that's all there is to it. Okay, now I'm going to do the trick again of control 1 and control 0 so you can see that the image has not been resized. All that has been done to it, it has been cropped. So you can see the original image is still there. By the way, shooting an LAX in the middle of the day is really not a good thing as you can see the heat haze is tremendous uh, but it's still still pretty good looking image so I'm gonna hit control zero again to sort of make it fit the window so I'm gonna go a little bit a step further even though this is just a crop tutorial I'm gonna give you a little idea of how you know I'm gonna resize this image to the final size I'm just gonna go to image image size okay and right now you see what's left of the original image uh, the original was 12 megapixels it was around 4,000 by 3,000 pixels in height and width and what's left after the crop is 2500 by 1667 so I'm just going to crop it down to 1024 um, sorry 24 and as you can see the height changed to maintain the aspect ratio because I have this checkbox here set constraint proportions that means that it will automatically redo either of the numbers in order to keep them in the same aspect ratio that's very important okay once I click OK <coughs> the image is going to be resized 
and that's the final size. Hitting control 1 will show it at the final uh, final output size. And that's basically it. That's all there is to uh, doing a quick crop in Photoshop. If you have any questions, feel free to join us in the forums, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have.